Hi, Carl Ford here in the TMC Net Newsroom at IT Expo in Austin, Texas. And actually, we're part of the M to M contingent here, my guys. And I'm really happy to have Neil Wheeler with me, Senior Sales Executive at Vesema Network. So first of all, Neil, thank you for being here. Thank you. Now, you know, we've been talking a lot about supply chain and transportation, and you were pointing out to me that there are some neat things about what you guys are doing. So tell me how you guys have come into the fleet management space. Sure. Uh, we have a, a, a product that is totally made and manufactured and designed by Vesma Network, so we make the product end-to-end -end and have control over it in, in that fashion. Uh, we, uh, it's a device that sits in a vehicle uh, and reports on fuel economy. Uh, of course, the GPS is always part of these, these systems and uh, helps the fleet managers uh, track where their vehicles are, tracks uh, efficiency of operation. Uh, and with some history on the GPS side, they can actually track where the vehicle has been so if there's ever an incident, they can actually go back and replay history and understand exactly what happened in an incident. So, so all those things so, are available. So, so we, we've kind of talked, touched base yeah. about three, three items. One is, right. one is the, just the, the uh, productivity and efficiency of managing your fleet. Right. Right. You also mentioned the green side of the equation. Absolutely. Want to talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. So we report on uh, the fleet in general, the uh, fuel economy of the fleet in general. Uh, but also of each vehicle in particular. So if one vehicle is above or below average, uh, the fleet manager can have a look at it, and either if it's above average, praise the individual and adapt some of the uh, methodology of some of the operational characteristics that an individual uh, uses. But uh, you can also look at the ones that are operating inefficiently and find out what's going on, whether it's a vehicular thing or whether it's an operator thing. But they also the, it also tracks um, the idle times, which is typically wasted fuel. Mm -hmm. uh, and if idle times are really short, it's, it's part of the doing business. But if they get to be long, we, we, we can alert the uh, fleet manager while it's happening so he can uh, you know, find out what's going on. Uh, what the last thing you need is to have a, an eight-hour eight idle time of you know, burning seven to ten gallons of gas at four dollars. <laughs> like, right, exactly. So, so, and that's, that, that is typically uh, unproductive fuel. Uh, so, but the fleet manager can have a look at it and decide for himself whether the vehicle is being operated properly or not. Got it, got it. Now, Amongst the other things that's cool about what's going on is now that we've got all this sensor reporting going on, mm -hmm. we actually have a government mandate you were telling me right. about, about weights and scales. You want to talk about what's going on there? Absolutely. So it's been a little while in, in uh, going through the, the regulatory paces, but now uh, the government, the DOT, has mandated that on the 1st of December, pardon me, the 1st of January in 2014, uh, the drivers, the long haul operators in particular that, that, that report to the scales, need to submit a electronic hours of service record. Uh, they've chosen Wi-Fi. They, they, were, they, they had a few discussions about what technology to use, but they've chosen Wi-Fi as the transmission method. And the re hours of service report, which lets the DOT know how long that the particular operator has been driving, how many rests he's had, what the week looks like, uh, all of those regulations that the DOT uh, mandates uh, gets reported. And the DOT could actually ground the truck saying that operator has exceeded his hours per week and he has to wa stay for two days. So, so now when I, let, let me yep. see if I get this right. So yep. when I'm going through state lines and I see those, yep. I see those scales, you bet. what's going to happen is while you're on the scale, right. the, the Wi-Fi is going to work and, right. and talk to each other. Right. Exactly. And the, the driver will hit a button. The, 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 uh, uh, the uh, hours of service record will be transmitted electronically. The DOT person will have a look and, and, and see if it uh, matches the regulations. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it, and and I, I can understand you know there are several different opportunities there, but I think right. I think Wi-Fi was a good choice on their part. Absolutely, yeah, they, they looked at Zigbee and, and, and Bluetooth and those kind of things, but I mean, Wi-Fi is much more uh, globally acceptable or is globally available, uh, and on the technology side, more people use it, so it, they've, it, they've done that. And it's easier on range for totally. something that close, you know. Absolutely, yeah. yeah so. Yeah. Bluetooth, you might, you know, you might miss. Right? You, you might have to, you know, shift <laughs> yeah. back and forth a little yeah. just to right. get it right. And, yeah. you know, that was Zig, Zigbee in theory could do it, but, yeah. you know, yeah. there's so much more Wi Fi out yeah. there. Absolutely. So. Yeah. And Zigbee can be written over Wi Fi now, so that's cool. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much. Uh, thank you. It's been a pleasure.